Hi everybody, welcome to a presentation video of a piece which is enduring its final moments in my expert care. Now this is a rare artifact which is one of the earliest pieces of furniture that I have ever found. It is pretty clearly from the French Renaissance from the mid 16th century. We can differentiate it from a later French Renaissance piece which would have had a little bit more figurative sculpture because here the style is much more to the tune of the Italian Renaissance which means that we can logically suppose that this piece would have been made a little bit earlier in the 16th century than say one which is much more uh, figurative. So here you have it, a wonderful example of the city of Lyon's production during the French Renaissance when this city was particularly powerful. And now the city of Lyon today is still a famous place, it's still a wonderful city, I very much recommend it. But it has lost um, its preeminence in the world. It had uh, in the 1500s when it was in the middle of a crucial trade route uh, between the Mediterranean Sea and the capital city Paris. And so by the 18th century, certainly, even during the 17th century, commerce shifted from the Mediterranean to the Atlantic, and therefore uh, we see a lot of wonderful pieces of uh, this sort of luxurious caliber coming out of the Atlantic port cities such as Bordeaux and Nantes. But anyway, um, this is just a spectacular example of some of the earliest furniture that a dealer or a collector could really come across because there isn't too much left from the Renaissance, but there certainly isn't much left from the Middle Ages. And then stylistically, decoratively, a lot of the furniture that was produced in the Middle Ages wasn't even that interesting to begin with, except for high Gothic furniture. But anyway, this still has quite a lot of decorative value, and there is a high enough chance that this is a real and authentic piece. Um, of course, some of it has been altered throughout the centuries, being about 470 years old. It makes sense that some of the uh, structural boards in the bottom and um, uh, they have been replaced. And then the top here has started to buckle upwards, which is pretty typical on the two or three of these that I've actually seen. And they have screwed it down to keep that, uh, that panel from continuing to bulge. But anyway, we have the typical tear-shaped gadrooms, uh, which uh, it's a decorative element that you would find on uh, uh, Roman sarcophagi. Uh, some acanthus leaves. We've got some pilasters here, beautiful flutings, and it's capped with uh, Corinthian, quasi-ionic Corinthian capitals. There are lion's heads on the sides, and then we have the caricatured faces of perhaps the original owners. And I'm going to say that they're caricatured because they don't frankly look very good. So let's just hope that that is in fact a caricature and not, uh, and not an accurate representation of whoever that person was. Um, anyway, uh, Finally, one of the things that I like is how there are fleur-de-lis which deploy from the scrolling foliage motifs um, that surround these faces, probably indicating the nobility of the original owners. Uh, the person that purchased this piece noticed that uh, these, these plume or feather motifs that are sculpted here uh, at the bottom of the top tier actually alternate, and that's, quite, that's, that's a nice little detail that I had not noticed. And as we're panning over the piece like that, you can see that it is made in walnut. It is definitely not made in oak. Uh, walnut was the wood that would have been used at the time. We can see some hand-forged nails that, um, that hold the hinges together. And uh, anyway, all in all, really a remarkable example of very early furniture that we dealers and collectors don't often come across. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a closer look because it is one of the oldest that I have ever seen, and it will be delivered tomorrow, and I very much doubt that the new owner has any interest in videoing themselves with it to share with all of you. So anyway, a wonderful piece from circa 1550. I hope you've enjoyed taking a closer look. Thank you.